What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about this, the Canon R6. So I've had this camera for over a year now, so I think it's time for a long-term review. So before I get into the strengths and weaknesses of this camera and why it might be a good pick for you, uh, I think it might be helpful if I tell you why it was a good pick for me. And if you watched my video where I switched from the Panasonic S1 to the R6, uh, two of the main reasons was autofocus and 4K60 without a crop. And those two features have not disappointed. This camera is um, incredible with autofocus, uh, 4K60, 4K24. Uh, has been flawless. It's been a workhorse of a camera. I don't regret switching. And so let's get into some reasons why this might be a good camera for you. Starting off with the pros and why this might be a good camera for you, uh, image quality first and foremost is the, is the most important aspect of a camera in my opinion and with the release of C-Log3 for video with the R6, um, the image quality on the video side of things has just been incredible and then on the photo side of things you have great autofocus, good dynamic range. Um, just pretty much everything you could want for in a still camera and video camera. Next is battery life. Uh, when you're traveling, you don't want to carry a ton of batteries. And the R6 has been very good on battery life. I only own two batteries. And even for all day shoots, I've never gone through more than two. And so battery life is super nice. You never have to worry about it. You never have to bring like uh, a, a boatload of batteries. And then lastly is just build quality and ergonomics, just general usability. And the R6 just really ticks all the boxes. It has a very user-friendly menu system. Um, the build quality is great. It feels good in the hands. Uh, you can shoot in the, the cold, the heat, the, the rain. You don't really have to worry about it. And just overall, it's been a very solid all-around camera. Uh, from image quality to build quality, there's just a lot to like about this camera. And now while there's a lot of pros with the R6, there are a few cons. Uh, the first being resolution. So the, the sensor in the R6 is only 20 megapixels. So if you are used to cropping in on photos and reframing, or if you're a landscape photographer, 20 megapixels is probably the bare minimum that you need. And the next kind of con or drawback is lens selection. While the RF lenses that are out for like the R6, the R5, the R5C are good, they are very expensive, most costing over $2,000, and third-party support really isn't there for the RF system yet. Hopefully coming in the future are cheaper lenses and third-party lenses, but at this time it is an expensive system to get into if you're buying L-series glass. So I hope you guys found those tips helpful. If you are considering an R6 and have any questions, please leave those below. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.